Hey y'all, it's Chris at the Boondocks Homestead. Hey, I'm going to make some Boondocks banana pudding. Okay, I have some bananas that need to be ate. Um, I usually make banana bread out of this, out of these um, that I buy each week for the farmer's market. But we're not going to be at the farmer's market this weekend, so... I'm going to use these up. So I thought, what a better way than to make some homemade banana pudding. And you know, I teach you guys all the time, use what you got, use what you got. You're never going to stop hearing me say that. You always, we live like seven miles out and I don't run town just to get something that I'm out of. I use what I got. Okay. So even when we lived in town um, years ago, I was the same way. I just hated to run to the store when I was in the middle of or getting ready to prepare something okay i just didn't like it so we're going to have a little bit of different ingredients than what you're probably used to but i promise you if you make this you will probably always make it this way okay or you'll at least make it this way sometimes you may not make it you might like your way better but this is really good so i'm going to start out with i'm going to make a big thing of this because i've got six bananas but i'm going to start out with um I keep having to get down here where I can see you. Uh, four of them, just in case, because I don't want to waste any, okay? So I'm just going to take those off and peel these. I'll do this really quick here. Okay. My hands are so dry, you guys. I don't know. I don't understand usually it does that in the winter time not the summer but they are really dry i think it's because i've been out in the hoop house and i've been planting and doing different things probably um i normally i'm telling you normally i would quarter these i think i'm going to i think i'm going to do that because i don't like to bite into big old hunks i like banana i just don't like to bite into big old hunks of banana let me get a another little bowl here and we'll, and I'm just going to cut these. Did you see what I did there? I'll show you again here in a minute. I just take it and I go down through it like that and I go down through it like that and quarter it. Okay. And then I just cut it like this. And I have a lot smaller pieces in my banana pudding because I just don't like those great big, great big pieces. And I just cut them. I don't know how I did that, but I broke those two. Whoop, I just broke that one too. They're getting a little soft. And you know, that's really the best way to make bread or anything like this. You get more of that taste of bananas if they're just a little bit overripe, a lot overripe actually. You know, sometimes I'll uh, let them sit on my counter till they get just about black. And uh, that's the best time to make any of this stuff. But when they're freckled real good like this, that's a good time too. You just don't want them when they're green. You don't want to make nothing like this when you've got a green banana because you're not going to get any of the flavor or taste out of it. Okay. We're just going to start with that many, okay? And then we've got two to spare. Now that's all I've got is two to spare after that. So I'm going to set them to the side. Let me wash my hands. Now, I'm going to I, I'm gonna start out with, let me find it. I've got two different kinds of pudding. <laughs> I do. They're both vanilla, but um, I had a cheesecake one back there, and I started to use it. I started to because I thought, well, let me see if I got another vanilla, and if I do, I'll just use both of it. But if I wouldn't have had another vanilla, I surely would have used that cheesecake and a vanilla. Sh absolutely. So I've got one regular um, banana, uh, vanilla pudding, instant, instant vanilla pudding, and I got one sugar-free, okay? I know, I know that sugar-free stuff it ain't, it ain't the best for you in the world, but, you know, nothing is. The air we breathe is not. So, we're gonna put, and a lot of people have to eat it, you guys. A lot of people have to eat that stuff if they want something sweet because they can't have that sugar. And I'm guilty of it. We just went... We don't go out to eat very much, but we went out to eat the other day. Um, I don't remember what day it was. might have been 
Saturday after the market. I don't remember. But I always, when I go out to eat, you know, because I don't drink sodas. We haven't drank soda in a long time. But when I go out to eat, I will take me one of those little sugar-free packets um, of Kool-Aid stuff. And I always carry one in my purse. So if I am caught out somewhere and I want something, there ain't, you know, there's, because I'm telling you, I don't like town water. After I've had well water, I just can't hardly take the town water and that uh, chlorine taste and stuff that it has. I just can't really take it. So we's in a neighboring town and I don't like their water either. And um, we went out to eat and I ordered a water and I put my stuff in it. Okay. And, you know, we don't do that all the time. So, and I don't drink that stuff all the time. I My biggest thing to drink is water, just water out of my well water. And I carry my canister around with me everywhere and it's always got water in it. Okay. Occasionally I'll make us some tea and I don't put hardly any sugar in it at all. Just enough to kind of take that bitter out of it. But Tim could drink it without sugar. He likes it without sugar, but I do not. So anyways, let's get on with this, shall we? <laughs> all right. So I'm going to put um, both of these in here. Now I'm going to use goat's milk, of course, because that's what we drink. That's what we have. That's what we use. most of them in there now the package says put two cups in here i'm not putting two cups in there that makes it too runny i'm going to put more like a cup and a half uh, there's two boxes so that'd be four cups and if we didn't put that much that'd be about three and a half cups okay maybe a little over three and a half cups i'll put in there you don't want it real runny because then it wouldn't be wouldn't be no good so i'm gonna put two cups start out with two because that's my measuring cup goes to two. And then I'm going to put another. We're going to do just like a cup and a fourth. Okay? That's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to mix this. I use about all my goat's milk. That's okay. Because we get, we're getting part of quite a bit right now. Let me mix this. And I'm not going to keep you on here for this. It's loud. And I'm using this instead of my big. I can't hardly make anything in this but bread now, you guys. Because dough. You know, that's what I bought it for, though. So I have to use my hand mixer for other stuff. It won't reach it. If I don't have enough stuff in there, it won't reach it. Okay. Now, I sit here looking at this pudding, you guys. Get this off. And I'm thinking, here's, oh, now, here's the dish I want. Here's the bowl I wanted to put in. I had this up on the refrigerator. And I thought, that is so pretty, and I don't ever use it. I want to put that in there. And I've had it since, uh, what, did I get this from Pampered? I don't remember where I got this. I've had it for a long time. But I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking, I don't know. You know, I think it will work. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. What was worst case scenario? It just looked too big for it, right? Okay. So after I did this, I'm going to put my bananas in it. Okay, you with me? I know this is kind of elementary, but it gets better. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to kind of fold in my bananas. I don't want to get too wild and crazy with it. Now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator until I complete the next step. And this can be getting cold and kind of firming up. Okay. So let me put this in the fridge real quick. All right. Now. Get this out of my way. Let me go throw this away. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Let me get this out of the way. All right. I'm gonna get the milk out of the way. Now, we're going to use some heavy whipping cream. <laughs> it don't matter. You guys know where I shop mostly. Uh, I don't really have much of a choice, right? We don't. So, um... Move this aside. Now I'm going to bring out the bad, big bad boy here. Get my banana bowl out of here. This will do what I want to do on this step. Go ahead and pull it up here. Now, so we got a whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, okay? Because guess what? Chris don't have no Cool Whip. And I hate buying Cool Whip. I don't even like Cool Whip. I've been making it out of this forever. And, but, you know, if that's all you got, if that's all you want, if that's, you don't want to go through all this which ain't trouble to me. It's not trouble. But um, then use Cool Whip if you got Cool Whip, okay? Use what you got. Use what you got or what you want. 
So I'm going to use heavy whipping cream and shake it up a little bit. And then I'm going to Five twenty nine. We're good. Okay. Then I, this takes a while for this to go bad, which I'm glad because I don't use it a lot. So I'm going to put about. A little over half of that in there. Okay. And we're going to start whipping it. Until it gets to a stiff peak. Okay. And I'll bring, bring you back here. Or I'll just like. Fast forward this really fast, okay? So hang tight. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to it. All right, I'm going to put in probably, um, I don't know, a tablespoon or so of sugar, okay? I'm going to show you. Okay, yeah, this is good. See how it's sticking in there? That's how, that's what you want. That's the consistency that you want, okay? Now, get me a spatula here. Yeah, I think that'll work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got this from Pamper Chef for sure. And I, I use this for stuffed eggs, and that's just about it. Now, I'm just doing this for the video because I don't usually, unless I go take it somewhere, which I don't normally take banana pudding nowhere, but... Um, I don't, whoops, <laughs> I don't um, go to this extreme, okay, I don't, but I want to make it pretty, and I don't know if I got the right attachment, even if, so we'll see, let's see, let's just see, I got a mess of what I got right here, hold on, so I just want to see what this looks like. Oh yeah, that's gonna that'll be fine. Okay. All right. Bring the big bad bowl over here that we're gonna use. I'm gonna push it down here where you can watch. Now I'm gonna go get the banana pudding. Look, I got spilled some more of that on the counter. Let me grab the banana pudding. Let me get me another spatula. Y'all always see these all these spatulas in my videos. This is why I have so many because I, I use a lot of them. We're going to start out, and we're going to put half of this in the bottom. Okay? I'm saying half because I'm going by how much I have here. And this was two boxes. I'll put this recipe underneath here. This was two boxes. Okay. After I do that, now, we're not using vanilla wafers. You want to know why? Because Chris don't have any. And I have actually decided I like this better than vanilla wafers. So these are just regular graham crackers. Nothing special. Just graham crackers. They might not look as pretty, but I they're going to be just fine. Now this, I had some left over. This one too. I had some left over, so we're going to use those first. You know, we're not going to waste them. We're going to use them first. Bring them out. Okay. And what I do is I just kind of get them whoops you're supposed to be watching me right oh let me get you where you can see i just put them like you know i don't make them real big i don't keep them real big but i don't make them real small either because that's they're going to get kind of um soft in this pudding right and get some more Okay, how's that? Now, the crumbs in there real good. Now we're going to put half of this in there on top. Oh yeah, I think it's going to be just, just the right size. I was kind of concerned about it, y'all. I think it's going to be just the right size. I'm going to put that Cool Whip on there. Look at this. going to be wonderful. Wonderful. I want to leave a little bit though for the next layer. Okay. And then we're going to layer this again. All right. We're going to put the rest of this pudding on here. Okay. 
okay wonderful okay let me get this off here i'm just gonna make it look better okay let me wipe my hands off and more graham crackers Now we're going to open a new one and I'll put it back in that bag. All right. A little bit more. Oh, it's going to be pretty, you guys. Now, I got to decide. I'm not a good decorator, you know. That's why I don't do cakes. Because I'm just not a good decorator. I mean, I try and I do the best I can, you guys, but I'm just, I'm just not fancy. So let's just see if we can go around here. Oh, I've never used this for this. We're just going to make this like. <laughs> I told you, I'm just not. You know, probably if I would. Like that. Oh, I run out. Almost. Let's see. Oh, I just about run out. Oh, I did run out, and I just need a little bit more. Okay, I got to fix that. I can't leave that like that. Give me a minute. I got air in it now. Okay. Oh, I run out right there. You guys, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm done playing with that. <laughs> I am done playing with that. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little. You know what? That ain't going to look right if I don't use that, though, on the rest of it, is it? Okay. Hold on. Oh, look at that. It is a handy little thing for, like, stuffed eggs. I'm not sure I'd want to try to decorate anything with it. Of course, like I said, I don't do a whole lot of decorating. I am. Um, I like simple. I mean, I think, you know, this kind of stuff is pretty. But, but I'll tell you how I normally fix this here in a minute. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how I normally do it. But we're going to get through this here real quick. Let's see. Let's do this. That looks not so great. I'm going to try to go around it again. <laughs> it looks like a hat. Let's just leave it like that. I think that's just going to be good because I'm really done with it. Okay. That's just going to have to just be okay. Okay? Is that okay? All right. I think so. Okay, I'm going to show you what I normally get all this trash. Oh, I forgot. I was going to put a few. Okay, see, I crumbled the, a few of them up. I was going to put a few of those on top. We're still going to do that. Let's do that. Of the real. There we go. Well, that looks even a little bit better. Well, that's some fancy banana pudding now. <laughs> Okay, so normally I will just get a bowl, just a regular bowl, any kind of bowl, or I will get like a cake dish, you know, like a 9 by 13 or something, and usually not that big because it's just usually Tim and I. So it's usually more like a 9 by 9 glass cake brownie dish, whatever you want to call it, okay? And I just whip that up, and I throw it in there, and I just spread the Cool Whip on top, and then I might put a little... The graham crackers on top of that. But it don't get fancy. Not for Tim and I. But I want to tell you what. This is going to be good. This is the way I make it all the time now. But, and of course, if I, have, if I don't have something, I might substitute for something. You know, because that's just how I roll. But look at that. Okay. Anyways, 
uh, the top, you know, it could have used some work, but like I said, I'm not a decorator. But yeah, mm -hmm, that's going to be good. So there you have it. Boondocks banana pudding. I decided I'm going to put some of these bananas. Let me cut some up here. And I'm just going to kind of line this with bananas. I think that'll make that pretty. I'm getting it on my fingers, but. There we go. That was one banana. That worked out. Looky there. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. And um, you all have a blessed day and a blessed weekend. And I will, Lord willing, catch you on the next video. I love you guys. Bye.